wanted photo with a smiling Bobby, think twice. From now on, anyone could be arrested for taking pictures of the police, the armed forces or the intelligence services, which could be useful to a person committing or preparing an act of terrorism. With policemen often present at newsworthy events, like football matches, marches, processions and concerts, it becomes almost impossible for many people to simply do their job. Justin Tellis, a freelance photographer, has already got in trouble with the police while covering a protest. He says the vagueness of the new law is an invitation for abuse. A police officer tried to forcibly remove my camera. He didn't cite uh, any terrorism laws, he just didn't like the fact I took his photograph. The other time I was threatened with Section 44 of the Counter-Terrorism Article, which I find bizarre using terrorism laws to stop and search photographers and to threaten photographers. Even the parliamentarians are outraged at the new law. Austin Mitchell, a keen photographer himself, is putting together a protest to the Home Office. Oh, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's going to open a, a Pandora's box of uh, officiousness. Uh, people have already been stopped from taking photographs for all kinds of trivial reasons. And I've even had somebody stopped from taking pictures of the House of Commons on the grounds that it could be a terrorist target. Now, that could be said of anywhere. A person taking a photo, according to the new law, should have a reasonable excuse for their action. Many in Britain see this as a part of a larger creeping assault on civil liberties in the name of terrorist prevention. There are lots of little assaults going on in Britain uh, against human rights and civil liberties. Britain so, so quickly is moving into the state where the police are unanswerable and are given the power to arrest somebody and imprison them for five years on the grounds that they've just taken a picture. The problem is certainly wider than that. With a stop and search policy, powers to arrest without warrant, fingerprint collection, the national DNA database of innocent people and the potential introduction of identity cards, Britain, say many, is heading towards the 21st century controlled state. Even the former head of MI5, British Domestic Intelligence Service, has recently warned the government of the dangers of creating a police state by exploiting fears over terrorism. With over 4 million CCTV cameras in the UK, the largest number in the world, the state is constantly monitoring everyone's lives. And by making it illegal to turn the lens on themselves, the police have left everyone wondering who is going to keep an eye on those watching us. Gary Pushkova, RT, London.